third time this season, the Phoenix Suns meeting up with the New Orleans Hornets. And history could be made on Wednesday night. Steve Nash entered the game just seven assists shy of becoming the Suns' all-time leader. Pick this one up with Nash keeping it himself. That put the Suns up by two, 15 to 13. Now back the other way, it's Jason Smith knocking down the mid-range jumper. He had 16 points, shooting eight of nine from the field. New Orleans up by four. Now Jason Smith finds Gustavo Ion. Had one, he makes the free throw, he finished with 10. It was a 43-36 advantage for the home team. But here's where the storyline really laid. With Steve Nash, dribbles across the baseline, hits the turnaround jumper. Isn't this guy supposed to be distributing the basketball? Well, here we go. Nash drives and finds Marcin Gortat, the baseline jumper. Gortat with 23 and 11. Gortat records his 13th double-double of the season. Now Nash goes around the screen and hits the pull-up jumper. Phoenix up 66-62, trying to get back on the winning track. Now Nash breaks down the D. He's tremendous. And here finds Josh Childress on the baseline, the bank shot. That assist ties him with Kevin Johnson for the most all-time. This one to Josh Childress breaks the record. He becomes the Suns' all-time leader in assists, breaking the mayor's record. It was a 72-68 advantage for the Suns. Now Sebastian Telfair nails the three-pointer. He had nine points. It was 86-84 Phoenix. Five seconds left in the third. Marco Bellinelli drives, and he beats the buzzer. Check it out one more time. Bottom. 88-87, Phoenix up by one. Jared Dudley in the fourth, the steal. Runs the break, finds Channing Fry, and Fry the hoop, and the foul. Makes the free throw. He had 16 and seven, Phoenix up 103 to 94. Now more from Nash on this historic night this time. Keeping it himself. Nash, 30 points, 10 assists, 13 of 16 from the field, and he becomes the Suns' all-time leader in assists.